Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have another great article from Mike over at Light Reading. I'll leave it in the description down below so you guys could check it out. The network evolution continues at T-Mobile. They were very aggressive, very upfront about the progress that they would make. And they're heading towards that goal, right? So they had several decommissions of networks to go through. They had to decommission the Sprint LTE network, the Sprint CDMA network. They had to decommission its own HSPA network. So there was a lot of progress and work to go into that. And there's still some actual physical cell sites from Sprint from Sprint that they that they're gonna that they're going to have to continue to decommission as these next few years goes on. And that's actually physically going to the cell site. And removing the Sprint equipment, rack, BBU units, all that included. They've already moved and progressed th towards some of that. I've seen it here. But there's still quite a few sites out there that they're going to have to decommission, meaning completely rip off. So this article is about the next step on the, on the network evolution, which is 2G. So 2G is going to be shut off April in 2024. That's going to be the last month that or the last time that 2G will be be around is going to it's going to last from now until April 2024. Now, what does this mean? You know, a lot of people are a bit confused. Why are they shutting off 2G? What about IoT devices? They're just going to give the uh, the IoT user to transition to an LTE device, right? Whatever they need to do, upgrade. They need to go to two. They need to go to LTE. Because that's the last fallback network that T-Mobile is going to leave running, right? They already shut CDMA off. They, they already shut off uh, HSPA. Sprint's LTE network is, gonna, is shut off now. So the last piece to this puzzle is the 2G network. And the reason it's 2024, I'm told, is because they're going to give vendors and the third parties that need, more, that need to upgrade these IoT devices to at least LTE, they're going to give them some time. So... I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous video as well, but by the end of this year, a lot of that LTE spectrum is going to be allocated to 5G, right? All of PCS is going to 5G. That's going to be the end of the year. Now, some of you might still be like, well, what about IoT? How, how are they going to operate LTE? They're going to leave a very, very thin slice, I'm told. And I've said this before. So in markets that have band 12, they're going to leave that 5 megahertz on LTE, right? For fallback in case the the, the 5G coverage doesn't re reach or or for for the IoT devices, they're going to leave that. And then in markets where band 12 doesn't exist, I'm told, they're going to leave 5 megahertz of AWS on LTE to, to keep the network, the LTE network up and running for IoT devices. And then hopefully in the future, those IoT devices will eventually transition over to 5g now t-mobile of course is the most aggressive on 5g everything 5g right they gotta they gotta they gotta get the standalone core going they gotta get voice over nr going they want to dedicate more spectrum they want to do aggregation they want to get all that going on 5g now like i said before and i maintain this position to to close out this video get a 5g device if you are a consumer and you're using the T-Mobile network day in and day out, get a 5G device. LTE-only devices are going to operate very poorly moving forward. It's not going to be great performing. It's going to be the bare minimum. You're not going to be able to do some of your daily tasks that you used to do. So I really recommend to get a 5G device if you can. Again, I'm just recommending. Nobody's forcing you, but you should get a 5G device. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.